Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'll, I will present you the SM35 transaction and how also were the SM36 and SM37 because if we will go to system services on the job we have the defined job it's SM36 and job overview it's SM37 because uh, this transaction are to run a program in uh, background and you can also define the intervals which you want to run the report and other things okay if we go now to this program I've created this program because I want uh, when I run this simple program in the background I want, I want to have fill this value here like a variant but we want to take it in the background and for this I have declared a BC data table head, table with header line which means that the structure has the same name as the table here I have declared the program name, the dimpro and the field which I want to be populated with this value and also we can see here that I want to place the cursor on this field this is when I run the SM35 transaction I call this transaction here but I don't need to call it here and then I need to call on the BDC open group and I have declared a name for the, for the group and the BDC insert to insert the, the data into the structure and then I need to close the group and then let's activate then I just run the program and I will see that no error because I write the C sub or C ok but uh, we wondering ok I have made this program and what is the result? The result it is if we go to SM35 now. If we go to SM35, we see here that we have our mapping declared, and also we can see that the status has a little bit errors. <laughs> but this is the map, and uh, if we want to to see if our value was field in the field we just select the map and then we need to go to process here in the process we just need to press the process button and here we see that we have our value and uh, this help us because if our uh, report this is our report if this run in background then it will have automatically this value taken from here of course you need to take it from a table so thank you very much and this is in big lines about the SM35 and if we go back to SM35 we see that if we go back the system asks us if we are exiting the transaction in batch input do we still want to keep the batch input data we say yes then another pop-up appears the processing of batch input session complete then we can exit batch input or to go to the session overview session overview means that we will go to the we will go to this one and we can see that this one has an error we can delete it select it delete it and then we can see that we have again our new created test map which don't have any more the status error and this was in big lines you can play also and if you have question you can subscribe me here thank you very much and have a nice day bye